Hello and welcome to Aviation and ATC Keep Educating Yourself series. Hope you all are doing well. Today we will discuss runway markings that provide guidance to pilots operating on the airport surface during arrival and departures. Markings are imprints on the ground, be it on the runway or taxiway, which provide visual guidance in the form of travel path, a takeoff point or landing in daylight or high visibility. These airport markings and signs are standardized by International Civil Aviation Organization to enhance safety and improve efficiency. Let's start with definition as per Annex 14, Volume 1, Aerodromes. The runway is defined as a rectangular area on a land aerodrome prepared for landing and takeoff of aircraft. There are few points which needs to be considered while selecting a particular orientation for runway. Maximum usability factor. 95% of the time, aircraft should be able to use selected runway. Wind component, noise abatement procedures, obstacle in approach or takeoff climb areas. Crosswind is wind at 90 degrees to aircraft and results in unstabilized approach. Maximum permissible crosswind component for aeroplane whose reference speed length is 1500 meters or more is 20 knots. Runway classification. There are three types of runways. Visual runways, non-precision runway, and precision runway. Markings are different depend upon type of runway. All runway markings are white in color. Visual runway. Runways without an instrument approach procedure are called visual runway. Visual runways are marked with a runway number and a dashed runway center line. Visual runways may also include threshold markings if intended for international operations. Runway designator 09 means magnetic bearing of 090 degrees. So opposite runway and designator will be 090 degrees plus 180 degrees. That is 270 degrees means runway 27. Designation markings are numbers and letters that identify a runway. The runway is determined from the approach direction. It is based on the magnetic heading of the runway center line. So, if in magnetic compass at runway center line we have found 267 degrees, how it will be written? This we will show. So, runway bearing we have to divide by 10. So, 267 degrees divided by 10, it comes out to be 26 decimal 7, which has to be rounded off to the nearest 10 degrees. So, in this case, our runway will become 27 and reciprocal of this will be 0 9. Runway designator is supplemented by left or right or center when we have two or more runways. If we have four runways, the configuration will be like this 0 8 left, 2 6 right. 08 right, 26 left, 09 left, 27 right, 09 right, 27 left. The length of the designator is 9 meters, width 3 meters. Different numbers and alphabets have set dimensions. For that, refer annex 14. Runway centerline markings. Identify the center of the runway and provide alignment guidance to aircraft during takeoff and landing. The stripes are 30 meters in length 
and with a gap of 20 meters. Width of visual runway is 0 0.45 meter. Threshold markings. Visual runways, those without an instrument approach, do not have threshold markings. As per recommendations of Annex 14, a threshold marking should be provided where the code number is 3 or 4 and the runway is intended for use by international commercial air transport. Threshold markings identify the beginning of the runway that is available for landing. This is threshold marking runway 09, threshold marking runway 27. The following table indicates the number of stripes when related to the runway width. So, for 12 number of stripes, we have runway width of 45 meters. So, number of stripes will give an idea to pilot how wide is my runway is. Runway threshold markings comes in two configurations. One, symmetrically placed at the beginning of runway as shown for runway 27, right side. In other configuration, runway designator is placed between runway threshold markings. In this configuration, minimum three threshold stripes, both side of runway designator are to be placed. And runway designator lateral width is 22.5 meters. Threshold markings starts at 6 meter from the beginning of runway. Stripe length is 30 meter. Stripe width and gap is 1.8 meters each. Runway designator is placed 12 meter from threshold markings. Runway center line starts after 12 meters from runway designator. Designator length is 9 meters. Non-precision runway. Runway which have procedures that provides lateral navigate guidance only. It has runway designator, runway center line, threshold markings and aiming point markings. Aiming point markings serve as a visual aiming point for a landing aircraft. These two rectangular markings consist of a broad white stripe located on each side of the runway center line and approximately 400 meter from the landing threshold for landing distance available 2,400 meters or more. Precision runway. Runway with lateral and vertical guidance both. For example, instrument landing system. So for precision runway, we have runway edge markings, threshold markings, Runway designator, runway center line, width for CAT 2, CAT 3 runway is 0 0.9 meters and for others it is 0 0.45 meters. Aiming point, length is 30 to 60 meters, width 4 to 10 meters. Lateral distance between two aiming points is 22.5 meters. Touch down zone markings. These are placed after the runway threshold and runway designator. This is to turn to ensure aircraft lands on runway and safety margins are provided in case of pilot error or sudden loss of height due to wind shear or turbulence. Touchdown zone is marked in pairs symmetrically to both sides of runway center line. The number of pair depends upon runway length. For landing distance available of 2400 meters or more, six touchdown zone markings are provided 
on runway. Touchdown zones are located at a distance of 150 meters from threshold and thereafter each touchdown zone marking is equidistance placed 150 meter except if touchdown zone marking coincides with or located within 50 meters of an aiming point marking then touchdown zone marking is deleted for such case only aiming point is drawn here, touchdown zone third marking will start at 450 meters and aiming point is at 400 meters. Thus, for this case, only aiming point marking will be shown on runway. As per Annex 14, at an intersection of runways, the markings of the more important runway shall be displayed and the markings of the other runway shall be interrupted. The runway side stripe marking of more important runway may be either continued at intersection or interrupted. The order of importance of runways for the display of runway markings should be as follows. First is for precision approach runway. Second order of importance is for non precision approach runway, and third order of importance of runway is for non instrument runway. So, first will always supersede second and third, likewise. So, in this example, runway 27 is precision runway, and runway 33 is non precision runway. So, as per Annex 14, at intersection of both runways, which has shown with the help of dotted red circle, we must show markings of important runway only. Markings of runway 27 are continuous, whereas we have interrupted the markings of runway 33. It is based on importance of runway. Further, to avoid confusion on other runway 33, due priority is for precision approach runway markings, Threshold of non precision runway 33 is displaced for better visual guidance for pilot. Displaced threshold. A threshold is at the beginning of the runway. A threshold may be displaced either temporarily due to construction work or permanently. The portion of runway behind a displaced threshold is available for takeoff, but Landing distance reduces for that runway whose threshold is displaced. A displaced threshold is marked by a stripe with arrowhead along the center line showing the displaced threshold. Arrowheads across the width of runway just prior the stripe in case of temporary displaced threshold. The length of stripe is 30 meters and gaps are 20 meters. Chevron markings. These are yellow markings aligned with the runway that shows payment areas unusable for landing, takeoff, and taxiing. Demarcation bar in yellow displays runway threshold from unusable payment such as blast pad or stop pay. A demarcation bar is yellow since it is not located on runway. So, we started with runway centerline markings, test zone markings, threshold markings, runway designator markings, runway edge markings, aiming point markings, displaced threshold, and chevron markings. So, this completes our complete runway marking section. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please do share your views in comment section. If you like this video, Make sure to subscribe your own aviation and ATC keep educating yourself channel. Have a great day.